read it aloud? Okay. Okay, this is uh, 326, 17 here. A dream which it seems like I had once before. I'm just getting to a location where I'm going to teach a class. It's nighttime. I pull into the site, which is like a commercial vacation resort restaurant. I get there, and there's a big kind of circular drive, and I see lots of people milling around. Next, I'm in a little boat with a motor. There are three of us in the boat, all going to the same place to teach a class. We literally are being taken in a circle around the perimeter of this man-made pond. Mm -hmm. At about the quarter mark, I hear someone from shore asking about a sound they hear, and I say, that's a loon. And I then hear Tony's mother's voice say, you can look it up under Luna. And I then think, what? And I say, no, loon. I'm agitated by her being mistaken like that and yet speaking up as if she knows. Just past the halfway around this little pond, we see huge waves that have just hit and the water's rushing up onto the lawns of a couple of homes that are next to the pond. We're astonished in the boat and I say, whoa, look at that, as I turn to the two women to my left and I add, imagine all that salt water going onto their lawns and I think to myself, that'll be a disaster. Next, I'm in the building, up on the second or third floor. The building is old, dark, dingy, with lots of people trying to find rooms. And I'm looking for what I'm really not sure. I think I'm gonna, going by my vague past memory. Then I need to go to the bathroom. And I'm looking for one. For one. <laughs> I go into this room and I see some other girls in there who are looking for the bathroom too. Apparently there's one bathroom and someone's in it. So I find a seat and sit down to wait. It feels like Tony's out in the hall waiting for me. Time goes by and then I stand up and look around a bit and I see that there's a bathroom just to my left that's unoccupied. I'm surprised that I didn't see that room before and I go in. On my way out of that larger room, I realized that the chair I had been sitting on earlier to wait was actually itself a toilet, which I could have used as well. I'm finally on the floor where I need to be, and as I go from end to end, I ask someone, where's room 637? And just as I say that, I see that number on the door. I go in, and the room is a large storage area. It's actually a couple of rooms, and people are some sitting around a large oblong table, some sitting on chairs around the perimeter and spilling out onto a balcony. It's all very casual. I don't feel like I'm late, or if I am, it's only by a few minutes. I don't know what I say or do, but I apparently tell them something to the effect that we'll not have class tonight, since you're also casual. And we'll just pack it up next, pick it up next week. So see you then, and I leave. Later in the night, I have another dream. No. Oh. That's good. Yeah. <clears throat> hey. What, what do you make of it? Gives me the creeps. Mm -hmm. um, well, it has the feeling of it being the first night of the class. So we're all just getting there, rush, trying to find our classes. Mm -hmm. um, what do I make of it? It's a disaster. Like the salt water going on the lawn. I, it's just a disaster. What are you going to do with it now that you see it's a disaster? Okay. Okay. Why are you having it? Uh, what, what, what is the problem in the dream? There's no goal, except 
Um, there's no goal. There is a goal. Well, I'm going to teach a. Oh yeah, there is a goal. I'm going to teach a class. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a goal. Yeah. So it's a failure, big time. Why? Because, because I pack it up. I say we're not having class tonight. After all, I get there. I get there, and then I walk out. I leave. Why? Because everyone's so casual. Yeah. That's bizarre. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. That's true. It's not bizarre. No, it's not bizarre. I mean, in a way, it's my ideal. I've always thought the more casual, the better. So. So wait a minute. Since your ideal is present in the dream, what do yeah. you do? I cancel the class. Yeah. Well. Since it is ideal in terms of your expectations, <clears throat> you cancel it. Therefore, what do you want to know in the dream? Why I would do that. Now forget the no. why. Uh, State of mind. At that oh. moment, come yeah. on, you look and you see them all sitting around casual, and what do you see? Come on. Go ahead. I see that they're ready to learn. They're, they're ready to listen. Ready to ask a question. They're, they're, they're into themselves. Not just waiting for me to And what does that do to you? You see that, see? Boy. Mm. What does it do to you? And the dream. Um, hmm. Well, I'm not really aware of that in the dream. What I'm aware of is that they're kind of, I would need to get them organized. I'd need to say, come on in from the porch. Let's come in a little closer here because they're spilling out onto the, onto the balcony, so I would need to bring them in a little. And that... You didn't need it. Yes or no, in terms of the dream. Please stay in the dream. No, I, I didn't need it. Right. I could have just sat down at the oval table and started talking. Yeah, but you got your ideal. Yeah, it's not my it's not my ideal in the dream, but That's right. in terms of my real yeah, life. Yeah. Okay, at this moment. I don't know. At that moment we'll not have class tonight. And we'll just pick it up next week. In the dream, what state of mind are you in at that moment? You know, I don't, I don't even know, I mean... That's in the dream. Sure you do. You see them, they're casual in the way you describe them. So in the dream, what's it like at that moment in the dream? I don't know, I'm not aware of a state of mind at that point. But you are telling them the class is over, and you are in no state of mind that you can describe. Yeah, that's why I say apparently, because it's like I'm just blank. No, you're just what? Blank. Go ahead, describe it. But more. <clears throat> Seems like I feel like I've had a workout already, just getting there. Hanging out in that bathroom and the hallway was all dingy and people were like 
maggots just kind of fun looking for rooms and on the boat and it just seems like I've had a workout. I've worked too much already and I'm not up to this class business. But it's because you see them in all casually though. You see they're casual. It does something to you. Right, it does something to me. Yeah. No, I'll take what you said because it's a good answer. Describe that blank. No I can't one, focus. Look more, come on. I can't. Um, I can't see anyone. I just see how they're kind of arranged. Can't see. Can't see anyone. I can't focus on any one person or one anything. Um, just yeah. I just yeah. see how they're sitting around the perimeter of the table. It's a storage area. It's just. No, seems you can't. You can't see anyone. Overwhelming. Right? It's overwhelming. This, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There's a lot of students. What? There are a lot of students. That's a probably very... 40, 50 students. It's not just a small class. No. Yeah, but that's a very important state of mind, that blank. Look at it. You can't focus, you can't see anyone, any one person. It's overwhelming, but yet it's blank. That's not an interesting state of mind, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right? Say we're giving, we're, we're signing it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what do you make of that curious state of mind? Well, it's something I'm familiar with. Yeah, matter of fact, it goes quite a way back, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, Want to go there? You'll open it up. You got what you need. I don't know where it would go. Of course not, but I could ask you. Okay. If you're familiar with the state. It's been around for a long time. Got an early scene where it was present. Just, by the way, pick any yeah. pick any scene when you're young, any at all, and talk about it. Well, I think that state when I was singing in the fifth grade fifth was about grade. ten. Come on. Or nine, ten, ten, yeah. And um, singing. Yeah, and we were, you know, we prepared, and this was for a Christmas concert, and we were all ready. But uh -huh. then it was that weird night before when my mother ended up buying me a ugly clo clothes for it, and I felt so ugly wearing those clothes because I was wearing something totally opposite from what I had wanted. Of course, you're right. So then the four of us girls are standing up on the stage and we sang, but part of me felt like it was not, um, like a part of me wasn't there. No, that's right. Like you're, we you're knew right. the songs because we had practiced, so yeah, yeah. that kind of was just automatic. But yeah, yeah. my feelings were not. Right. I was. I felt like blank. Yeah. Couldn't. Couldn't come. Couldn't be there. Or right. Something. Right. 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 You're quite right. Yeah. Yeah, By the way, good. offhand, did your mother ever see you in uh, any of those practices? No. We did it else at another girl's house. Oh. But she knew you were going to go on the stage and do this. <clears throat> yeah. And then later when that picture, I mean, we're talking like, when the picture came out with me in the class chorus, that was the bigger part of the show. I poked my eyes out in the picture because I didn't want anyone to know that was me. 
Because what did you see in the picture? That uh -huh. I don't know, just it wasn't me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you are in the picture, right? It just wasn't me. It was weird. Yeah, how'd you how'd you look? I looked like her. She had me wear her sweater. She had me wear ugly clothes and her sweater. The, you know, so I looked like non-feminine, non-beautiful, no color. Yeah, it worked. It hey, worked. Well, wouldn't you agree? I mean, you were. Uh, is it possible that you could take a look at that singing episode as you're coming on? Yeah. And this is what she did when you were going to show yourself and come out. Right. Yeah. In fact, yeah. that same year, she somehow she had me going to a church class in the middle of the day. A few of us would go across the street to the church mm -hmm. for our lunch hour for church education. And I remember there was a boy in my class who wanted to give me his ring that year to go steady. And I said, no, I can't because I'm like, a. I mean, it was, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I didn't know what I was, but I couldn't have a boyfriend or I couldn't. I couldn't be, yourself. be, I couldn't have any feelings or, yeah, yeah. yeah. it was creepy again. Yeah. She, it looks like she's pretty skilled at bringing you into that blank state. Yeah, it's like a blank state. Is that yeah, interesting? I don't know what to say, uh, I just have a different identity or something. No, no, no identity, except her. Oh, right, right. Except her. Yeah, I can't have any identity. <clears throat> Yeah. Right, it was blank like that. I couldn't, yeah. I was speechless. I couldn't, I couldn't say anything. Yeah. Cut. Kind of a war against the self, isn't it? It's really a war against myself. No, no, no. Oh, God. I'm uh, still in it, too, with teaching. Pardon? I'm still in it with teaching. I yeah. still can't make my ideal class. Well, because you, well, you'd have to show yourself. Look yeah. what happened when you tried to show yourself <laughs> in that singing. Right? Right. So now you want to show yourself <laughs> uh -huh. in teaching before a big group and look what you've learned. What did you learn from her? <sighs> Looks like she wants you to be just like her. Right. Huh. Right. Yeah, to look like her. Yeah. Hmm. Think maybe uh, you singing with the girls up on the stage may have uh, given her a problem. Yeah. She turned it into a masquerade. In the negative sense. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. It, yeah, it couldn't be a complete yeah. success yeah. for what I wanted. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What, 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 what are you, what's she doing? What name would you put on what she's doing? See, you got all everything you need, see? You got everything, what she's doing. You right. put the name on it. What do you think she's doing? To you. She is, uh, 
Well, uh, she wants to make sure I don't be myself. Mm. Yeah, it's doing a good job. Yeah. And she yeah. wants me like her and to hang yeah, out with her. Yeah, and yeah. I'd say, yeah. Uh, instead of poking your eyes out in that picture, what would have happened if you told her what you thought of what she's doing? What would have happened? Hmm. How would you express it? Make believe you're talking to her. How would you put it? Hey, Mom. Uh... You know, I don't even think she was there at the concert. Um, she didn't come for it. So, uh, you know, I could have said, hey, on that concert today, we sang beautifully, but I sure felt like shit wearing your clothes, and I felt awful, and... Yeah. Um, Could you ask her some questions then, from that beginning? No. Why not? Do it I now. I never even talked about it. Do it now. Ask her questions. Oh, yeah, why do you want me to be colorless. Why do you want me wearing your sweater that you bought with Kleenex box tops? Why couldn't we have gone to the store earlier to buy the clothes I wanted? Yeah. But see, she always had me dressed like a boy. She tried to dress me like a boy. Yeah. Yeah, she's at war against the feminine, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. She hadn't been earlier in her life, but something, I don't know what happened to her. So, uh, but talking and expressing feelings, that was, we didn't do that in my house. You didn't express your feelings. You have to be? I have to be blank or express or expressionless or say nothing. Yeah. Otherwise, you go to your room or you... You get punished. You can't, yeah, you get punished if you say anything. Oh. See, psychically, yeah. you have to go back on the concert. Right. Right? And dress the way you want to be. Oh, right. Yeah. Right? You have to recover what she's done to you, isn't she? Right. See, all the kids in the class were ready to learn. They were active, they were interested. Yeah. And you said, man, I don't want to go in there. Yeah. They're going to ask questions, right? They're ready to learn, they're right. going to ask questions. They're going to be themselves. Right, right, right. What the hell with them? I'm not going to, I'm, you're not going to allow that, are you? No, if I Damn, can't be God myself. right. <laughs> People don't have a right to have a self. Bunch of idiots. They're right. all idiots. Right? Right. Right. The hell with them all. Yeah. Yeah. We should all be blank. Right. Think it's time to challenge the teacher? Yeah. What are you going to do? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. So you got to the school at time. You got. Yeah. You went through all of those minor difficulties. Right. But that threw you. They were there, ready to learn. Yeah. Just like you were ready to be on the concert. Right. Right on the stage, ready yeah. to play. So you did to them what Mama did to you? Yeah. Huh. huh. Uh, did you find that a curious thing, Rose? Huh? 
What's that? Oh, you're on. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Boy. A lot, a lot's in a dream, isn't it? Yeah. It's bringing I mean, you back to it, isn't it? Yeah. It's like beauty. Beauty is not allowed. Ooh, that, yeah. was, that was what I had in mind, a beautiful dress. See? It's a war against beauty. Yeah. It's a war against the self. It's a war against being yourself. You can't stand it, right? Thou shalt not. No. No beauty. No. Well, you can, hey, you can, you can change it. Yeah. If you want to take the challenge. Oh. Uh, when are you going to teach again? Uh, actually, uh, in a week. How are you going to dress next week? Huh. It's mm. true. I usually wear dark clothes. I figure that's kind of professional. Blank. <laughs> That's true. That's true. In fact, I usually worry. I don't want to be too colorful. Yeah, well, they is. might think I'm a hippie or something. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. What are you going to do? And take the challenge? However you're going to express yourself. That's yeah, up yeah. to you. That's yeah. up to you. Yeah. See, unless you challenge the game, it'll be there for the rest of your life. Right. And you've been there long enough. Yeah. Yeah, no, time to challenge. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so simple. It is, it's always. Okay. Quick question, Julian. Sunday last, this was last Sunday, right? Did I have a dream? Yeah. Um, the 26th, actually, I think, was a, yeah, no, it was a Saturday, after Friday. Saturday morning? Yes. After the Friday when I didn't come. You're next, Friday. after that. Because I was home doing something weird. I was sleeping. Really. Sure to read it. Okay. All right. It was the end of the day and I was feeling horny. <laughs> I was walking down the street and once again I saw Adriana. From a distance I could see that she was with this guy who was just talking her ear off. She was obviously totally bored with what he was saying and he was just rambling on. My initial intention was just to save her from this boring guy. So I just walked up and said hi. She put her attention on me and started ignoring him. He left. We talked for a bit and then she asked me if I want to walk her home. And I say, yeah, sure. We're walking, <clears throat> we're walking together and we're having fun. We're making jokes and I'm pretending to be rollerblading. I say, in case you couldn't tell, I like rollerblading. She smiles. She tells me a bit about her day. As we're walking by my apartment, I tell her that that's my place up there, but I'm moving over here, pointing to the building across the street. I explain that there's more noise in the building where I am now. And she's like, oh yeah, the way that the walls are set up is not designed very well. Plus the new building is further away from the street. She understands me and I'm like, yeah, that's right. 
We keep walking and I'm still pretending to be rollerblading. I jump off a ledge and land next to a really tall guy who's walking in the same direction as we are. Adriana and I kind of look at each other with raised eyebrows and she's like, you should walk on your tippy toes. And I'm like, yeah. I'm thinking, this guy is tall like Chaz from my high school. And he turns around and it is Chaz. He kind of points at me and he's like, Elder. And then, Elder. I'm like, hey Chaz, uh, you're still doing that pointing thing where you point really close at my face. He does it again and I move his finger away from my face. He says, and you're still doing that thing where you move my finger away from your face. He tells me how he's still playing basketball but he injured his shoulder and now he's losing some muscle because he's not working out in order to allow his shoulder to heal. I'm like, yeah man, you should just train your legs, just do squats. He's like, yeah. And I say, got to keep those gains. He's like, yeah, we were just working out and then going to KFC and then working out again. I'm like, ha, yeah, junk food. Kevin Garnett used to just eat McDonald's all the time. He's laughing and I say, and Alan Iverson was just eating cheeseburgers. Just cheeseburgers and Coke all the time. He's laughing as we're separating. Adriana has already turned right and we were separated. So I'm leaving Chaz to join up with her again. As I'm walking towards her, I see a couple of guys running around this place, uh, play place area where she's cutting through. Now she's my mum. I see the guys kind of fooling around and they notice her. I, s I see these guys kind of fooling around and they notice her. They have kind of a mischievous air about them, like they may be up to no good. One of these guys says to the other, go for it, go for it. From what it looks like, they're either going to harass her or try to hit on her. It looks more like harass. He's approaching my mom from the back and I'm getting closer. I shout, I shout, I shout out, Oi, what the F are you doing? He looks at me and he's like, nothing, nothing. And I'm like, good. And I just keep walking towards her. Okay. Um, what would you do? What would you do with a dream like this? Hmm. Well, tell me the sentence that you'd focus on to open it up. She tells me a bit about her day. Someone else. Look. Dreams always, not, uh, not always, but 90% of them have goals. Mm -hmm. They're very clear about their goals. But then the dream is going to tell us all the things we do that, that, that they don't fulfill the goal. Well, I got yeah. one then. It was the end of the day and I was feeling horny. <laughs> Pardon? The line, it was the first line of the whole dream. It was yes. the end of the day and I was feeling horny. Of course. That's the goal. Yeah. Now what happened to it? Look here. As a piece of strategy. Come on, it's a human being portrayed in a dream. Here's our colleague. Right? What happens? What, what happens to the goal? He gets diverted. Huh? When uh, he jumps off a ledge and ends up by the other guy, though. Yeah, okay. Well, right? he wants to save her from this boring guy. Yeah, true. And then at the end, yeah. he wants to save his mother from the That's really true. harassing boys. So that has nothing to do with the issue. Okay. Okay, why do I say that? Okay. Because you're not focusing on the this, this strategy that's going on in the dream as the dream presents it. Mm -hmm. Oh. See? So everything is a study of states of mind, are they not? So, um, how would you, like I would say, as you look at it, it's going, hey, it reaches a, it reaches a peak.
And then it goes on its merry way. Where's the peak that therefore turns around? We, we keep walking and I'm pretending to be on rollerblades? Or, no, okay. where, where she understands him. Pardon me? Where she understands him and why he's moving. Right. What's it like at that moment? It's perfect. More. It's, it's, it's just like uh, we're, we're fully connected and uh, she gets me and we, we have like a natu we have a natural um, chemistry and understanding as well. It's a very uh, very <laughs> wholesome connection. What happens to it? I, I get distracted. I get distracted. I start talking to this guy that yeah. I don't really even yeah. like. And then that. from then on? Yeah, just. So therefore, what do we want to know? So at that moment, put more words on it. Natural chemistry, a unity, come on, more. It's very easy and effortless. Um, it's almost like I'm, I'm not, um, it's, it's almost like I, I can't accept how easy it is. That's not in, in the state, but that's what it ends up happening. More. Um, the state is... It's just natural chemistry, unity, it's easy, it's effortless. I can't accept how easy it is. By the way, that's just... Uh, my looking at it now. Of course. That's not. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. But it's um, it's a yeah. very everything clicks. Ah, everything yeah, clicks. Yeah. More. Come on. Um, it's like it's like. Um, okay. It feels really good. It's it's like um, it's fun and playful and um, it's very caring and gentle. So. You stay in the dream now, okay? Pretty interesting state, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you say, yeah, that's right. What's the next sentence? We keep walking and I'm still pretending to be rollerblading. What are you doing? Pretending. Right, now you're into a different way of mind, aren't you? Look here, see? Now, I'm pretending. What happened to the other state? Yeah, the, the, um, the authenticity of the other state is, is gone. Yeah. It's not genuine anymore. Yeah. It's still like playful yeah. and yeah. fun, but yeah. it's, it's yeah. not... Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a drop. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, uh, and as you reflect upon it, this idea comes forward, doesn't it? It's like I don't jump onto the opportunity. It's like I don't um, embrace this state of mind. Yeah. I just go to this... Pretending. Yeah. Yeah, right, 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 right. Uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> looks like you're not allowed to be in that state. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I that's wonder right. how it was knocked out of you as a kid. Well, my dad is a master of pretending. He's the, he's the master of the pretending game. Yeah. yeah. How was it knocked out of me? I don't know. Um, yeah. 
Um, give me an example when you first saw him pretending. Whenever, um, whenever guests come over, um, maybe I'm like yeah, uh, eight or something, seven. Um, he just becomes really animated, and the, the center of the the attention in the room. But it's it's a very um, It's a very like sh uh, sh kind of superficial um, act that he put uh, puts on. Oh. It's like playful and smiling, but it's like it's kind of like a diva. He's like a diva, mm -hmm. like. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, good, good, good. Uh, you're watching it, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. What does it do to you? To see your dad playing one of those roles, what's it do to you? Well, it's at the same time it's like uh, impressive, but it's also confusing because it's it's different from his normal uh, way of being. <laughs> Actually, he's only like that when guests are there or when he's flirting with my mum. Ah, ah. <laughs> the, the, because I don't think that's really flirting. It's just this weird, like... Uh, he can't be himself when he's flirting, right? Right, yeah, right. Yeah. By the way, is that what you're doing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to, the, to the point. Yeah, looks like to he's a good teacher. Yeah. 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 Uh, at, uh, if you could have, uh, wouldn't it have been a great thing to say something to him at seven or eight at that time? If you could have said something. Yeah, like, why are you... Um, you seem different somehow. <laughs> why are you... Um, like... I think I could tell even then that it w wasn't, he wasn't being himself. <clears throat> It just looked like something on top of something else. Um, I would ask him, like, why are you suddenly different? Because it's a very extreme, sudden change. Yeah, the same as in the dream. Like, you, like when yeah. the guests walk in, right. he just fl flicks it on. That's right. Yeah. How, how do you, what do you think about the fact that we end up imitating the people we promised ourselves would never be like? Some right? All over the place, right? Yeah. I know I'll never be like that son of a bitch. You know what? And I end up being like the son of a bitch anyhow. <laughs> He's a great teacher. You didn't challenge it. What you don't challenge, you live. What you don't challenge, you live. You've got to challenge that, don't you? That word pretending yeah. is key, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, he's pretending. Like, I, I, I find it hard whenever I make a, a good connection with a girl that I like, mm -hmm. I find it hard not to pretend. To stay there. What would happen if you st stayed there? Mm. Have to be yourself? Yeah. Mm. I think it would be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Time to end it? Yeah. Mm. Let's see what happens when you decide to put an end to pretending.
Fair? Yeah. Try it? Yeah, I will. See what happens? Okay. All right. Pleasure. Say it aloud, please. Oh, I, okay, I, that's ahead. your copy. I okay. made your copy. <laughs> go ahead. Um, both of them? Yeah? Okay. I was finding, locating pathologos. When I found one and captured it, I encased it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that's the dream. Yeah. Right? That's what I was doing. I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What I found interesting, though, that was the pathologos were people. Yeah. Yeah. Were people. Yeah, yeah. They were people. It was like I was playing hide and seek with them. What's it like when you captured you captured it? It was. Um, I didn't feel like the task was done. Like I still felt like like there was other like people that I was supposed to still find and capture them also. Like I was playing hide and seek with these these things. Go ahead, more. Um, it was like a, like almost a game too. Like um, like a, like a, you know, like I would spot one and then they would see me and then they would run, and then I would have to go and like corner them in a corner, mm -hmm. and then got you. Oop. Capture them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What's it like when you capture them? Uh, it was, it was, um, it was freeing that I captured them. Um, it was, uh, oh, it was, uh, like, aha, I got you. More. Um, like, um. It was like, it was hard, but it was easy, if that makes any sense. Yes. Like, locating them was harder than capturing them, if that makes any sense. Yes, sure. Wow. Um, and then when I, when I spotted it, um, or spotted the person, they, as soon as they saw me, they, they, they were like, oh no, and then they ran and tried to run away from me. And then I would have to like corner them in a corner and able to catch them. Ah, so you got them in the corner and? And then I was able to right, get them. Right, 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 right. So then you capture them. What was yeah. that like at that moment, capturing them? Uh, it, like I said, it was like a freeing type of feeling, um, but also very powerful. Um, um, it was easy. At that moment, it was easy. The capturing part was easy. Um, Free and powerful is an interesting state. Um, yeah. Yeah. Say more about it. Um, it's like um, <coughs> like you're. Um, 
finally able to breathe, if that makes any sense. Ah, good. It sure does. Yeah, finally able to breathe. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> you just like have this, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Uh, clear? Um, yes. I would say yes. Yeah. In what way? Well, like, well, when I finally, like, um, it was clear when I saw them, and then, of course, you know, when they ran away, I would have to find them again. Mm -hmm. So then that part wasn't so clear. But once I captured them, once yeah. I saw them in the corner, and mm -hmm. then it was clear, yes. That was clear. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You've had experiences of being clear before. Where would you put this one? Hi. Way up here, huh? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, If you get back into that state, what could you do in that kind of a stage? Wow. Oh, God. Um, I don't think I couldn't do anything in that state. I think I could do whatever I put my mind to. Oh, that's a freedom. If yeah. You, you know, if I could put my mind to it. Yeah. What would you like, what does that mean? It almost sounds like a conscious choice, doesn't it? <laughs> um, geez, yeah. Um, See, you're in a state and now you know something. Yeah. Right? If I could put my mind to it. Yeah. Then, go ahead. Then I would be able to do whatever I wanted. Whatever I, whatever I desired, whatever, I, whatever it is I wanted. Free? Freedom? Yeah. Very free, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. So the only question then is, uh, if yeah. I could, what does could I mean? Could. What does could mean? That's a limitation. Um, if I could put yeah. my mind to it, make any difference if it be if it were uh, should, could, would, might, may, yeah. Or, what? I don't. Could means that there's like a possibility that. I was unable to do it, but obviously I was able to do it, so... Hey, yes, you did it. Yeah. So there's no putting my mind to it, I just That's did right. it. So you actually did what you didn't think you could do. N no, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, yeah. Okay. I've had this, this feeling that I was not able, going to be able to ever do this, yeah. But in fact, I am doing it. You are doing it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's that like? Knowing that right now. Um, it makes me feel like like uh, the self is really helping me. Yeah. Thank you. Present. Want me to do the other one? No. Nope. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Good. Thank you. Yay. Okay. Okay. I got a, a, something I want you guys to do for me. Um,